Hi, this is Anil and welcome to the video tutorial for the learning lad on C++ programming. So we have learned, you know, how to explicitly specialize the generic functions, you know, by declaring or overriding a generic function with a specific version of that function. So here, you know, we can do that with the generic classes also. You know, we can override the generic class by defining a class for the specific version of that generic class. You know, if it is confusing, don't worry. You know, when we see the example, it's going to be clear. All right. First thing that we're going to do is we're going to build a generic class in our program. So we need to use the keyword template and then less than and greater than symbol. And here we need to specify the generic types that we're going to use in our class. And let's say type only one and then we need to do the class definition so it's gonna be class and class name let's say my class you know any name and then we're gonna have a private member and let's say type p1 or property one and then we're gonna have the public access specifier and we're gonna build our constructor so it's gonna be the same name as a class name and then it's going to take a parameter of type type you know this generic type and then um, we need a variable here let's say p and we're going to store that in our p1 so it's going to be p1 equal to p all right the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to build a method you know which is going to print out the value so let's call it as void and uh, what you got and it's not going to take any parameter and it's just going to print out the value in this member p1 now you know all of us know that you know this generic class can be used you know for any type of data you know we can create an object from this class and make it to work with integers and you know make it to work with strings floating point numbers any data type so here what we're going to do is we're going to create another class you know which is going to override the integer version of the generic class and to do that we're going to use the new syntax you know similar to the syntax you know which is used to uh, specify the explicit specialization of a generic function you know we're going to define the class so it's going to be the template keyword and then you know less than and greater than symbol and we're going to leave that blank and then class and then the class name which is my class and then again less than and greater than symbol here we're going to specify you know what type of data this class is going to be working so it's going to be int now you know we need to define this class so what i can do is i can copy all the statements and i can paste it here and you know we just need to change this type to int and uh, here also is going to be int and that's it all right you know the next thing you guys may ask me like you know you know why the heck we need to do the explicit specialization in some cases you want your generic class to work slightly differently for a specific data type at that time you guys can use this explicit specialization technique so here what we're going to do is inside this constructor of this um, my class you know this generic class i just going to use c out and i just going to say from the generic class constructor and uh, this and this line and i just gonna copy this and i just gonna paste it here and i just gonna say from the specific integer version class constructor ah, okay all right the next thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna create the objects from this generic class to do that in my main function i'm gonna use the class name which is my class and then we need to specify the type of data let's say uh, we can pass only one type let's say string and then the object name let's say uh, ob1 you know any name and we can pass one value here and let's say anil all right then what you're gonna do is we're gonna create another object my class and here you know we're gonna, we're gonna pass int and then let's say ob2 
and I just gonna pass integer value let's say 22 all right now when we create this ob1 object and pass this string type you know the generic class definition will be used to create the object and when we create this object 2 and pass this integer type you know this integer version of that generic class will be used so here uh, I'm just gonna call the what you got method so it's gonna be ob1 dot what you got and it's gonna be ob2 dot what you got all right I'm just gonna build and run this and uh, we're gonna get okay from the generic class constructor and from the specific integer version class constructor anil and 22 you know this first statement is for the object one you know which is gonna be working on the string type of data and the second one is from the you know integer specific version which we have defined all right and you know when we call this what you got method you know it just printed out the values that we have passed all right by using this explicit specialization technique what you can do is you can make your generic class to work differently for a specific version of that generic class all right guys this is about the explicit specialization of a generic class in c++ thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe and i'll see you in the next tutorial